you know um historians authors right they talk about this concept of steam engine time you know the idea that you know steam engines were known to the ancient greeks but they just used them as toys the stuff you need to make steam engines iron and things like that lots of people had that in lots of different civilizations and cultures and the things that you need to power steam engines like coal things like that wood you know people had those those things but somehow it didn't all come together until you know in in england in the early industrial revolution people needed a mechanism for pumping water out of mines and a steam engine was the was the way it was a super inefficient way to do it but it was the only way to do it so all of these things came together it was steam engine time i mean that's that's the explanation we got steam engines because it was steam engine time well now it's digital currency time we've had all of the components smart cards and mobile phones and digital cryptography and certificates and elliptic curves and all of these kind of things we've had all of these things we've put them together in different ways to do some different things but now they're all coming together not because of what technologists like me think about things but because of what central bankers like mark carney think about things it was mark carney who stood up last year and said we need some form of digital currency to deal with his words not mine the destabilizing dominance of the us dollar so when central bankers start joining the technologists and joining the business people in saying well maybe there's something here this kind of new digital asset based economy the use of tokens to trade without clearing and settlement competing stores of value when those kind of things come together then yeah it's it's digital currency time